All right, what is up, beautiful people in the Lord? This is Blake from Building Faith Ministries. I wanted to talk about something. I always want to talk about something because there's so much to talk about. Um, first and foremost, God is good. Um, I thank the Lord that he's a forgiving, merciful God because sometimes this flesh is just flesh, corrupt, I digress, but I thank the Lord that he's faithful and merciful. Guys, I want to talk about something that it's been eating me alive. Um, there's so many things wrong in so many churches, and I try so hard not to be critical because it's not about being critical, and it's not about being right either. I think too many people want to be right, and they think that their way is right, and you know what they believe is right, and guys we're all on the same path and the same journey trying to find the same thing which is eternal life and it grieves me because i see so many people who go to church the bible says they have a form of godliness but they deny the power thereof i, I don't know if i've mentioned it on this on this channel or not you know guys i speak with tongues right like it's a gift from the holy spirit um I basically want to talk about this whole like cessationism you know these are things that are just so unfortunate because you know and i tell people this all the time like the bible is is not changing god doesn't change you know people these cessationists they say that god ceased giving gifts i mean jesus said how much more you being evil how much more uh will the father give good gifts to them that ask uh, I think that one's in in the two different gospels. Jesus says he says good gifts, give good gifts to those that ask. But he also says in another one, how much more will he give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? <sighs> you know, in the book of Acts, they said, "Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed?" And they said, "We have not heard that there is a Holy Spirit." And we see this evidence of being baptized in the Holy Spirit by the evidence of speaking in tongues. Now listen, I don't know if I've shared this before, but I'm going to share it again. I grew up when I was very young in a Pentecostal church. I grew up with the understanding that tongues was a thing. I never heard it. I was in the Sunday school, whatever, most of my days uh, when I was there. And I wasn't there very long. I think we ended up leaving when I was probably like nine, maybe, maybe even younger. I can't remember exactly, but... We ended up starting to go to a Baptist church, which I mean, it's night and day difference, obviously, now knowing what I know now. But, you know, when you're just in Sunday school and stuff like that, you're not really paying attention to, for the most part, you know. So I didn't have any idea. I had no idea what was going on. I just knew we were there for the Lord, right? I mean, you have that basic, simple understanding of, yeah, I'm here because, you know, we believe in the Lord, right? Um, but I want to talk about this because when I got saved, I got saved at a Baptist church. And my understanding was not very much. I just knew that tongues was a thing. And when I when I got baptized at this this Baptist church, my understanding was that I was going to be, you know, when I came out of the water, I was going to start speaking with tongues. That was my understanding. I didn't know. And it didn't happen. I kind of like, I remember I came out and I was kind of like, oh, <laughs> nothing happened. So I was like... Oh, whatever. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to like, you know, I, I I was just like, I whatever, man. I was baptized. I was happy. I was good. You know, praise the Lord. But I just want to talk about it because it's like, I didn't have any understanding about it. I just assumed that was what was going to happen, right? And it wasn't, I don't know, it was probably six, seven months. And I just, I started reading the Bible. I started, you know, um, in Corinthians, Paul says, forbid not to speak with tongues. So, I mean, when I read that, I was like, well, I mean, God doesn't lie. He hasn't changed, right? And I'll be honest, it was a little weird for me at first because I was like, well, God, I don't know. Like, you know, I said, can I speak in tongues? And I felt like the Holy Spirit said, he said, you can. He said, but you don't have to. And I was like, okay, I didn't know what that meant. But I was like, you know, because God never forces. This is the thing I tell people all the time. God never forces anything on us. God wants us to receive but he wants us to be comfortable with it he wants us to because the holy spirit's a gentleman i say this all the time 
You know, the Holy Spirit is not going to force anything on you that you don't want. That's why the Bible says, ask and ye shall receive, seek and ye shall find. And, you know, again, I was not really sure what I was doing, why, you know, whatever. I just believed the word. And I said, God, I went to God. I didn't go to some person or some pastor and say, lay hands on me. And, you know, I've heard some weird stuff in Pentecostal churches and they, they try to force you or they, they make an altar call and they say, you got to do it. And it's like, man, that's not God, man. And I understand this is what I tell people all the time. Just because there's people doing weird things in church, don't write God off. Don't don't throw everything out because there's there's people making a fool, you know, of themselves and then slapping God's name on it. Don't do that. You know, because there is genuine gifts. There's genuine things. There's things that God wants to give you. And and like I I, t I tell people this parable all the time. I said, you know, there is a counterfeit. I've seen it. I've heard it. I mean, the day after I got baptized in the Holy Spirit, a guy at my work manifested demonic tongues. Like, I, no word of a lie. So I understand there's a counterfeit. I understand the devil loves to give people a counterfeit. But I'll tell you this. He'll only give you the counterfeit if all you seek is after tongues. If you seek the gift giver, you're not going to get a, 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 you're not gonna get a counterfeit. If you're seeking God and you want to love God and you want to serve and honor God, he's not going to give you a serpent. Jesus said, if you ask for bread, your father in heaven is not going to give you a serpent. So yes, there is demonic tongues. Again, I've heard it. There's demonic all kinds of stuff going on out there. Jesus said that, you know, that, you know, even the elect could be deceived because why? Because there's false miracles. There's the devil hasn't changed. I mean, we see that with Moses. You know, he said, throw down your staff. Well, what did the devil do? He did the same thing. <sighs> Anyways, you know, don't throw out the counterfeit. If I said I have a duffel bag full of money, right? If I went to any, anybody, I don't care who you are, anybody. I said, I have a duffel bag full of a million dollars. I'll say half of it is real and half of it is counterfeit. You think anybody in their right mind is going to throw out the whole bag or do you think they're going to rummage through it and figure out which one's the counterfeit and which one's the real keep the real and throw out the counterfeit we need to throw out the counterfeit seek for the real seek for the genuine and you'll get it jesus said if you seek you shall find if you knock it shall be open why are we throwing everything out of god because there's a counterfeit doesn't that does that make any sense to you it's foolishness, and I'm tired of it. Cessationism is from the devil. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Cessationism, and I, you know, it's funny, because I just started going to a church. I've been between churches, not because I want to be, but because the Holy Spirit's led me out of a lot of churches. I can't sit here and listen to these these boring pastors who have no fruit of the Spirit. I, I, you know what, I say this. Some of these pastors, they're genuine, they love God, but... It's boring. I'm just going to be honest. It's boring. And honestly, guys, one second.